Hi, it's time to do my eyes. So I'm going to show you um, just one technique that I use to put my eyeshadow on, or one way I put my eyeshadow on. And um, I have four colors here that I've picked out, and I'll show them to you as I put them on. Um, I have Sexy, Daring, I always want it glamorous, I always want to call it glorious, but it's glamorous, Corrupt, and I have a little bit of Irresistible, irresistible to do my um, eyebrows. So let's get started. So I have my three eye brushes that I love, love, love. These three brushes come with your kit if you become a presenter. And um, you can also buy them separately. Um, you can buy them in a group or you can buy each one separately. So I have my crease brush. I have my deluxe brush. And then I have my very favorite brush, which is the liner shader brush. The liner part, fantastic. I will never use any other liner ever again. So I'm going to start with um, Sexy. And I'm going to use my deluxe brush. And here is Sexy. It's a light neutral color. It does have a little shimmer to it. I didn't think I would like shimmer colors, but I do. There are some crazy ones out there. And a little bit on my brush and tap it. We always tap, not blow. I'm going to go all over my eyelid gently. And when I say gently, I just mean I'm not going to cake it on there. But you can never put too much or too little of this eyeshadow on because this eyeshadow can go on in layers. So if you have too much, you can grab your big brush and blend it out. If you put too little, you just add a little bit more and it just keeps going and going and going. So, I put a little bit of Sexy, see it's real light, it has a little shimmer to it over it. And for those of you that have like dark circles, I don't have it too bad. Um, in the center of my eyes, I have more dark underneath my eyes. Put a little bit in here on both sides. And I'm gonna do both eyes at the same time. And maybe I'll just do one eye. I'm going to put a little bit more on there. And then the second color I'm going to use is the purple, which is glamorous. It's purple. See it? I put a little bit in the lid. And then I'm using my crease brush and I'm going to put it in my crease. And it's going to look really dark and kind of funny at first, but then, um, like I said, these pigments, they will blend out and I'll blend everything in and it won't look so bad. So I'm putting this directly on my crease. You can see where your bone is in your eye. And you just drop back and forth. And back and forth. Like so. And then I kind of like to do a little V or C and kind of connect it to my eye a little bit and go a little bit above my eye. Okay. All right, again with the faces. And then I'm going to take the color Daring with my same crease brush. And there's Daring. It's a little brown, shimmery. And I'm going to sort of not cover the purple, but go over it in this similar area. Just add a little bit. There you go. So you can kind of see a little bit of the brown in there. And then I'm going to take my liner shaker brush. I always forget what they're called. Sorry. And get grab sexy again. Not the liner side, but the shader side. And then I'm going to put a little bit of sexy right here in the middle to kind of lighten that middle area up. I am by no means call myself a makeup expert, although I'm learning. And I've said it once and I'll say it again. Um, you know, we can learn together. I'm learning how to get better at it. And I'm loving, loving, loving these products. I'm just loving them. Um, I can tell you that probably, um, while I'm putting this on, one of my least favorite, and not that I dislike it, I just don't love it, is the lip gloss. 
Um, I don't hate it. I'm just not in love with it. But I like my lips to, um, I like to be able to feel my lipstick on my lips. And the lip gloss is so light and so fresh that I can't always feel it and tell that it's there. And that's why I don't like it. But if you like light, fresh, and you can't tell I'm wearing lip gloss, lip gloss, then it's going to be perfect for you. It's just, and so that's the only reason I just don't say that I love it. Um, I do, I like it. Um, I put it on over my lipstick, and I like it a lot. Just not love. That's okay, though. All right, back to the eyes, sorry. Um, I have sexy, and I'm going to highlight up here by my eyebrow. And I'm going to kind of blend. Okay. And then the last blending I'm going to do real quick is with my big powder brush. And I'm just going to soften it up a little bit. And there you go. That's my eye. I'm going to do my other eye real quick um, while I'm talking to you. It takes me a little bit longer when I do the videos um, because I feel like I'm, I'm talking and I'm explaining. See, I kind of added a little bit too much on that side, but it's okay. We're going to blend it all in. Okay, and then I'm going to do the purple. In my crease. And we're going to try to make this all match. And just go back and forth on the crease. See? I never know where to look in these. I, look, I want to look over here to see my face, but I need to look over here for you to see my eyes. And then I make the little V again, like I mentioned, or C, whichever letter you like better. And then I'm going to take a little daring. Put that in the middle there. And again, you know, you can't really mess it up. You can't screw anything up if you don't like it. Just blend it out real good and start over. The, the best part about it is once you get it on and once you get it the way exactly the way you like it, it's on there. And it's on there all night. There's no creasing. It stays on there all day, all night. It's got to be the best. Now people compare it a lot to Bare Minerals. I've never used Bare Minerals, so I can't give you my opinion on whether or not I like it better or the same or less or anything like that. The other thing I wanted to mention that I kind of like to do, and I'm going to do it with the purple, is I like to go under my eye a little bit. And um, I guess the experts would call that a smoky look. It, I think it really makes my eyes pop when I get my mascara and I'm totally finished. Okay. So, the other thing that I'm going to do with my liner brush is show you my eyeliner. So, I'm going to use Corrupted. It's black. I mentioned on an earlier Facebook post that I wasn't going to use black anymore, but I don't mind black when I have eyeshadow on. Um, I think because the mascara makes my lashes so full and long that when I wear um, black eyeliner, um, on top of it and I don't have any eyeshadow on that it just looks real heavy and dark and I feel like it makes me look older and of course I don't want to look older so so to do the eyeliner you grab the very favorite brush of mine it's angled eyeliner brush and you spritz it with water now I like the refreshed rose water it smells really nice it makes um, I, there's something in it um, we can go online and check the ingredients, or I can try to read it, but I can't really see it very well. Um, and it's pure natural rose water, refreshed. I thought it was silly to buy water, but I really do love it. It really makes everything go on creamy and smooth, and I just love it. So you spray. I spray both sides. And I already put a little bit, you can't see because it's all black in there, a little bit of black. And... You mix it all in to make like a creamy um, liner. And if you put too much water in, you just add more powder. If you put too much powder in, you just add a little bit more water. It's easy. You can't mess it up. And then I have it all on my um, liner brush, and I just gently slide it on, and it goes on so smooth and so precise, and it's such a clean line. 
And if you want it really thick, then you just add more and make it thicker. If you want it thin, this precise brush, brush sorry, makes it nice and thin. And I like it thin towards the front of my eye and fatter towards the end of my eye. So I just make it a little bit better. And there you go. See? See it? Look around. And then I do a little bit underneath. And underneath I just kind of pat it on. And then the other eye. And underneath. And lastly, I'm going to do my eyebrows. And I'm going to be perfectly honest and tell you that I haven't done this before with my eyebrows. This will be my first time. But a good friend of mine says this is how she does her eyebrows now, and she no longer uses an eyebrow pencil to fill in those sparse um, places. So we're going to try it. So I already have my eyeliner wet. And black but I don't want black on my eye um, brows exactly so I have my brown which is irresistible and I'm gonna kind of mix my damp brush in with the irresistible and I don't know if you can see the color or not but it's just kind of lighter brown so I've mixed the black and the brown together and I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my eyebrows to fill in well looky there The older I get, the more sparse mine. Do you see how beautiful that is? Oh my. Look at that. And natural. It looks more natural than my brush, I would have, I would have to agree with. So I'm going to add a little bit more brown. And do my other one. Look at the difference. Hmm. Look at that. Hmm. And just another thing, yes, I keep saying it, but it's just another thing that I'm loving about this makeup. I just love it. Okay, so there's my eyes. I'll do another mascara video The um, next. The last one I did, I did one layer of regular mascara. This time I'm not going to use any regular mascara, and I'm just going to go straight gel and fiber. Just to show you that it can be done, and, and there's really not that much of a difference, um, if any at all. Um, anyway, thanks for watching again, and um, I hope you enjoy it. See you soon. Bye.